Christian loves adventure. He loves mountain biking, backpacking, or you might even find him spinning a car in the middle of a canyon, but with a camera, of course. Christian is a full-time automotive photographer and videographer, and today I'll be introducing you to him while taking you to Angeles Crest Mountains, and he'll be sharing his story and tips for those interested in pursuing photography. I am super excited to introduce you to him today. He actually happens to be my other apartment mate and we'll be heading to the mountains in his Miata. If you are new here, my name is Isabel and this is Global Dream Team, a channel where I'll be documenting my journey and building a global community where I'll be meeting up with passion seekers, whether they're creatives or entrepreneurs, to share their story and tips to inspire you to also pursue something you're passionate about and go after your dreams. In each video, I'll also be taking you on some kind of adventure. So if that is something that interests you, then please make sure to subscribe to join the Global Dream Team community here. All right, so I am ready to meet up with Christian. Are you ready? Let's go. What is your favorite thing about cars? I like things that give you kind of that feeling of adrenaline. Cars do that. Cars are fun to drive. Obviously, I like how they look. Yeah. Um, I enjoy, you know, tinkering on them, working on them. But I think my favorite thing about cars is you having a fun car, going on a fun drive, and like going somewhere, you know, cool, that somewhere scenic, somewhere outdoors. Mm -hmm. Like right now, what are we doing? Right, you know, we're just going for yeah. a ride. And Car that's fun to drive or just you know going out somewhere yeah um, ideally i like to do this on a daily basis you know a little short sort of adventure where are your favorite places to go drive i mean angeles crest there's lots of roads in uh you know in malibu and anywhere where there's a twisty road yeah, <laughs> yeah. what are your favorite cars types of cars uh, uh, Japanese, like old JDM cars, uh, okay. like from the 90s. Nice. If you could get one car right now, what would it be? <laughs> uh, running Mazda RX-7. Okay. Uh, SD RX-7. Cool. What do you normally do like on the weekends? Edit and take pictures. Edit, take photos. Oh, that's like 24-7. 24-7. Yeah. Comes home from work, edits more. But he loves it. What do you yeah. love the most about what you do? Or even like the editing process? Uh, which And which part do you like uh, better? Taking the photos or editing? It's all part of the same process for me. But my favorite thing yeah. about it is just going to a cool place. Or ideally a new place every time. We just got here to Angeles Crest. True. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go find a spot to sit. Where's a good spot to sit, Christian? Um, on this bench. All on right. The only bench. Oh, out there's here. A, there's a nice little bench here. And, uh, I'm gonna learn all about Christian and his life story. 
and how he got into photography. Beautiful so beautiful here. I'll show you real quickly the view. Gorgeous. How was the drive up? How was the drive? It was really cool. It was really, really cool. First time here. It's a very cool drive. What do you recommend if people want to like visit this place? There's hiking. You know, if you like outdoors, pretty scenery. Mm -hmm. um, if you like driving, come up here. Be safe, mm -hmm. obviously. Be safe. What happens if you keep going up more? So if you keep going up more, right now the road is closed. Okay. But there's a place called Newcombs Ranch, which mm -hmm. is like, it's not really a bar, but they have drinks. They have like baked goods, lunch food right now. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people go chill up there mm -hmm. in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And then you go further up, it'll just go back down the backside of the mountain to Palmdale. So it's nice. kind of a nice road that goes through the mountains. Fun, fun, fun. Cool. Let's, let's take a set. Let's take a sit. Let's take a sit. <laughs> <laughs> so Christian, tell us a little bit about yourself, um, your background, your story. I am a photographer, specifically right now an automotive photographer. Things that I want to focus in with photography is automotive stuff, outdoor stuff, and extreme sports. And kind of figure out a way to mesh them all together. What I do right now is mainly car stuff, so that's kind of why we are out here in Angeles Crest. It's a popular place to, you know, come drive your car. We're here at Golden Hour. Most of the times when I'm out here, this is kind of exactly the time that I'm here. <laughs> this is the best time to shoot cars, especially when it's like a little cloudy like this. The lighting's kind of going now, but you know, it's just a very photogenic place. You know, just take pictures of your cars without really being bothered. Or was it always car photography? Was it just photography in general? My friends were always working on uh, our cars, fixing them, inevitably driving them, going to the track. We would always find ourselves in the canyons doing literally exactly what we're doing. So naturally, if someone brings along a camera, you start positioning the cars and you know, you want a picture of your car, kind of because you, you work on your car and you, it's something like you're proud of. What do you do typically during the week? What does that look like? I shoot full-time, I also do video, so I shoot full-time. Basically all the media for an automotive wheel uh, manufacturing designer, so they make the wheels for cars. During the weekend, I'm trying to schedule as many uh, freelance shoots as I get. Last Saturday, I had a freelance shoot, shooting a video for the Make-A-Wish Foundation uh, revolving around cars. The next day, I filmed a drifting video with someone uh, at a racetrack called Willow Springs. Back the Monday, shooting again for the company and then after I go back and edit freelance stuff mm -hmm. so really all my time is spent honestly just shooting photos and if I just want to shoot photos for myself then I try to go do that as much as mm -hmm. I can too because that's also very important to me yeah, yeah that's cool that's cool in terms of taking pictures it wasn't always cars it really kind of first started with just going out in the middle of the night or maybe I was on a backpacking trip or a camping trip uh, taking pictures of the stars or kind of whatever unique land landscape I could find I did a lot of pictures of our tents lit up it was a lot of nighttime stuff too so only nighttime eventually I threw a car in there I remember at nighttime um, a lot of long exposure stuff first and then kind of segued into cars at what point did you realize that you wanted to pursue it full-time. It wasn't like a moment in college where I was like, I'm going to be a photographer. For the longest time, I, I wanted to choose something more, you know, realistic. <laughs> so being an uh, architect was like my first thing. I liked it, but I'm not good at math or anything. So I just knew I wasn't going to continue with it. So I kind of just chose a more broad major, honestly not really knowing what I was going to do. But even when I didn't really know what I was going to do, just always shooting it and always improving, even if I necessarily wasn't trying to improve. And eventually I just found my way into, okay, I'm starting to get more and more freelancing stuff. How can I try to make you know a constant stream of money from this? Mm -hmm. There was a one particular job that I got where I got the shoot behind the scenes stuff for this documentary that was being produced by Zeiss. So I got to be on set and I got to really see people people who were kind of not making money in kind of like ordinary ways that I was so used to. They were just making small films. They rented out a U-Haul truck and they like <laughs> drilled into the U-Haul truck and made a camera rig out of it. And they had like the big, you know, nice like cinema cameras with them. And yeah. So they had all the equipment, but they were making money in ways that were not ordinary. They were I that definitely opened my eyes like, okay, this is actually a possibility. And then I just started surrounding myself with people like that who are doing that sort of thing. They're not looking for the money first. They just want to fill their time doing what they like to do and then the money follows. Mm -hmm. What would you say for someone that 
who wants to pursue something like this, but maybe they're second guessing themselves. Biggest thing is just, especially in terms of like photography, videography, build up a portfolio. That's the only way that someone is ever gonna hire you. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna hire you just because you have a camera. They have to see proof that you can do something with it. Mm -hmm. So really the biggest thing is just going out and, and doing it. Have some free time, just go shoot photos. Yeah. And I think the other thing is like really surrounding yourself with people who are better than you. Yeah. Uh, whatever it is that you're trying to do. You want to take photos, you know, surround yourself with other people who you want to be like or who are better than you because you'll learn a lot and it, it will push you to do better. What are some tips that you have for people that want to get into photography? Professionally or just for fun? Uh, really, you don't need the best camera. In the camera I had for the first three or four years of doing this and then did some you know uh freelance stuff too which just a camera on ebay for 200 bucks but obviously you need a camera so there is some sort of money you need the front to do it yeah. but that's like most things i think the worst thing someone can do is just finding an excuse you know just grabbing a camera i think finding your way into scenarios that are gonna allow you to get more pictures you just really have to just Get off your ass. <laughs> Get off your ass and do it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I bet, yeah. But you're you're gonna like it, and if if you truly like it, you're gonna have no problem mm -hmm. doing it. Yeah. That's true. Like for me, I just want to constantly keep taking photos. Like right now, I'm at a point where like I always have my camera mm -hmm. on me, mm -hmm. and I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, the two most important things with taking pictures of cars: one, just having the location down. And then two, it's the lighting of the car. And then obviously how, you know, attractive that car is, you know, comes in and all of that. But that's kind of like secondary, like really just the lighting and the, um, the location, location number one. So here, you know, we're kind of in the mountain. We're kind of at the end of the sunset. So ideally we do this a little bit earlier, but pretty sunset. We have some trees, you know, light rocks. There's a lot of like contrast here. And then obviously we have the car. So, we kind of have this sweeping road with the car. Um, the car is kind of facing the way of the road. It, it might look a little weird if the car is faced the other way because the road is going this way, the car is going that way. In terms of the picture, you know, the car goes with the road. When you're taking pictures of cars, it's really important to find a cool angle of that car. Us walking around every day, whether you're in the cars or not, you're used to seeing a car from where I am right now, just standing, looking down at the car. So that might get a little boring, but see what you, what you just did, getting down on your knees, you change the perspective as, of the car. So the way body lines of a car are designed are designed to go with the wind, but that all happens a lot lower than your eye level because when you send the car, you get down. So all of a sudden, when you're looking at that car, like you can look at the car from here and just go down the whole perspective of the car changes, so it gets more aggressive the lower you go. Maybe you go stand on the cliff and take a picture of the car from afar. If you just want to like focus on the car, you know, you can zoom in. This lens doesn't zoom, but just get really close at that car or like really show the scenery, you know. Maybe showing more of the scenery will allow someone who's not really into cars to think, okay, that's a, that's a pretty photo. So I guess the biggest things of cars, location, lighting, and then the angles. With cars, it's really helpful to have, this is called a CPL filter. It's a circular polarizer. What it does is, in terms of just taking a picture of this scene, it'll like add some more saturation to the picture in terms of the sky. Like it'll kind of take some of that haziness out that the atmosphere gives. With a car though, this is kind of very important. You can come up here. It also will cut out reflections. But if you look here, there is like reflections on the window. So you can look down here. When I turn this, see how it takes the reflections out of the window and like mm. the top of the car. If I turn it some more, It'll take the reflections out the side so we can zoom in even more. So kind of like that. But sometimes you might want reflections. Like there's a parking garage I like to go to where there's lots of reflections. I think they, it kind of gives like stripes over the car. I think it looks really cool. So none of this you have to do, but kind of just whatever you think looks cool. Alright guys, 
that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about Christian, learned a little bit about photography, and hopefully it inspired you to also pursue something that you're passionate about and to go out and go explore. So I will leave all of Christian's links in the description below if you want to reach out to him, check out some of his work, request for some of his photography. He's super talented. And let me know if you want to see him in another video. If you are a dreamer and doer and you have a story to share with me, then let me know in the link in the description so I can share your story in a video next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and comment below letting me know what is something that you want to pursue but you haven't gotten started yet. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!